The last time I saw you, it was just blue. Now we've gone back to young blue. Mm -hmm. What happened with the name change? Uh, I think this uh this 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 older guy producer he he was I guess he got a trademark he was just using it for uh, a long time I don't even think he a rapper or nothing and so you couldn't yeah. use blue because it was already used so now yeah. it's back to young blue he was saying that it it confuses people but I'm like bro like you like he's like some like classic producer from symphony producer from like 1980 or something like that. And I was just like, well, how can people confuse that? But I, I just ain't feel like, I really just ain't feel like fighting. I probably could have won. I just ain't feel like. You know why you're not going to fight? Because you're busy on your jet, yeah, yeah, which yeah, we're yeah. going to talk about. Congratulations <laughs> on that jet. Yeah, Listen, yeah. you have a lot to celebrate. Yeah. A lot is going on. The last time I saw you, we were talking about all the things you were working on. And honestly, I'm going to be honest, honest, mm -hmm. honest. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when artists come through and they tell me about all these wonderful, magnificent ideas. Yeah. It's rare that I see them happen, yeah. right? Yeah, sure. You are actually <laughs> doing everything. The compound. Yeah. I mean, literally everything you say you're going to do, which, okay, mm. again, we're going to talk about in a little mm. bit. So let's mm. talk about the new album. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Tantra. Is it what I think the title? No, nah, no, nah, it's not what you think. Okay, so tell me. <laughs> tell me about the title. Uh, the title just means, like, it's, it's like some spirituality stuff with the with the moon and like what a moon position and stuff like that it's like some, oh you know, just some spiritual stuff yeah. so how did you come across this like was it just through self-discovery uh once i had uh named my album moon boy mm -hmm. uh i just started doing like more studying on, on the moon you know what i'm saying and just i was just like you know because i was i'm trying to keep this like i want to keep it going like uh -huh. the whole theme so I was just like trying to just looking into more stuff about, you know, the moon and like just deep, deeper meaning. So like when I, as I progress and stuff, I can all like, eventually all my albums are like connect <gasps> and my, uh, you know, my whole like yeah. imagery can connect, you know. Tell me about the most fascinating thing that you learned about the moon. I'm so into this right now. Yeah. So yeah. tell me and tell me what books are, or how you discovered all this. Uh, I think. I think the most uh, fascinating thing is probably like just, you know, uh, the moon, everything got, si like all the signs, like people have their different moons. And, sure. You know, it affect uh, how you feel, it, it affect like your personality, like uh, it affect a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? In a, in a spiritual world, if you believe in that type of stuff. Well, know, so. how does it affect yours? Um, I just say for for me, like it just depends on what my moon is. Like I said, when it comes to signs, a lot of people just think of like being an Aries or being a Cancer or being a Scorpio. Sure. But like your moons affect, uh, like if you look deeper into it, it's like where your moon is. Like you know what I'm saying at different times, and it kind of affect like who you are, deep. your personality. Yeah, it, it so did you get a reading done for you? Um, no, I haven't. Yet. <gasps> I haven't got a deep, deep degree. I don't really like. To wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Like okay, so how about this? Yeah. Next time you come back, because yeah. I'm sure more singles are going to go platinum, yeah. more gold, this, more mm -hmm. success. Mm -hmm. Let's go get a reading done. Uh -huh. Okay, don't just say that. Cause now you're gonna get my hopes up. I will. I ain't tripping. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> all right. Now I want to talk about all the incredible features on the album. Mm -hmm. We're talking big names. Yeah. I want to start off with Zayn because mm -hmm. I see a lot of people on the internet have been talking about the song that you have with Zayn. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's because the last time he had a song come out was over a year ago. It's uh -huh. been a minute. Yeah. So how did this come together? Uh, he was uh. One of so one of my A and R's, which probably like one of the A and R's that were like one of the last A and R that really be working. Uh, he was working with him. He been working with him for a minute, and uh, you know, for a minute they were just like he wasn't putting out no records and he wasn't doing no records. But uh, I ended up sending him a record called Fire Inside, and he just loved it, and um, he just decided to hop on it uh, and be involved. And it was like kind of like a. a, a a big thing because mm -hmm. like, he was really like hard on like not driving music you know what i'm saying and it just came together i don't know man i began lucky i thought it's 
Um, you know what's so interesting you say that because I guess someone had tweeted about all the features and they were saying that you had a Hollywood movie <laughs> budget yeah. and you responded back to it basically saying it's not even, you know, yeah. like that. It's because artists really enjoy your music and what you do and that's how you're able to work yeah. with so many great artists. Yeah, I really just be thinking like some of these people like too like they don't even take money you know what i'm saying they got so much money they don't even take money like you can't even pay them like it's like either they want to do it or they don't you know right. what i'm saying like i don't think you could like you know what i'm saying you can't pay zane for a feature like you can't pay drake for a feature you know what i'm saying you can't pay you know what i'm saying nikki for a feature it's like you know they either want to do it or they don't want to do it they either like the song or they don't you know right. what i'm saying so when you get to like those calibers you know you ain't really moving off like money you know right yeah. so how did you and nikki you know connect to work together <laughs> uh that was really just uh i think i had tweeted one day that i uh that i wanted to work with her and she had uh retweeted me and she was like she hit me in the dm was like send me something and we just, i was just sending records for like a year i think i was in nigeria when i first talked to her we talked for about like an hour on the phone and uh uh, it just took, you know, just our schedules, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just getting together. And it was a lot, of, a lot going into that. You know? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So the phone call, was that the first time you've ever spoke to Nikki? Yeah. Ever? Okay. Uh, yeah. So were you nervous? How was the convo? Was it just uh, audio? Was it video? Like, you yeah, know, we need just, the details. No, nah, it was just audio. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it was, it was cool. Like, she was just, you know what I'm saying? Um. Uh, you know, just telling me how talented I was and stuff like that. Nice. But we had, I ain't gonna lie, we had like a lot of <laughs> up and downs like just throughout our whole like, uh, uh, we had a lot of up and downs throughout our whole communication, uh, year of communication, like times. We even probably like even get into it sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's over musical differences or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not not even musical different, different like, I don't know, man. I was kind of on a different time schedule than she was because she was working on a lot of things. And sometimes, like, you know, I hit her up, be like, oh, yo, what we doing? What we doing? What we doing? I always take the lady's side in this. <laughs> but to be fair, <laughs> she's a mom. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, that, yeah. That, she's that, busy. She's mm -hmm. booked and busy. Yeah. So, you know, she's probably like, hey, I would never own her like that. You. Like, yo, 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 I would never own her like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? It was just like, you know. A lot of times, like, when I plan to do something, like, I be wanting to plan. Like, right. you can either do it if you, you can either do it or not, you right. know what I'm saying? But it's like, if I, like, if I make a schedule, if I make a plan, like, I be having to put so much together on my side, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, to, to get stuff in order. But, you know, of course, she probably got more to do than me, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it was just, like, things like that. But it wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't really nothing, like, just too crazy. Like, we'll, right. have, we'll have our words go back and forth and stuff like that and just be back, you know what I'm saying, talking, like, the next day. You know well, and then getting the video done because mm -hmm. you were talking about how nervous you were on set. Yeah. Uh -huh. What made you so nervous? Was it just because the fact that Nikki's such a superstar and here you are, yeah. the director's having you go in? What was that experience like for you? Uh, it was probably just because I had never been around been around and you know how you hear so many like just stories of like you know what I'm saying like you know what I'm saying you didn't hear you damn to hear ghost stories about uh Nikki like how she is uh like far as like you know what I'm saying on set you know, I just seen videos so I was just scared like I was trying to do I was trying to basically not do too much you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying like I ain't know what to do you feel me you didn't. You say you didn't know what to do with your hands. You didn't yeah, know I didn't really know what to do with my hands because he just threw me in the scene with a really, and like I ain't never even been, you know what I'm saying, close to it before. So I ain't like I ain't know like was it like. Yeah, you wanted to be. I respectful. ain't know whether I wanted to vibe. You know what I'm saying, vibe because sure. the song like a love song. So right, right, right. I ain't know. She's gonna be like, oh, don't touch me. You know what I'm saying, or something like that. You feel me? You, so you wanted like, to be respectful. Yeah, you feel me. You feel but me. how was the experience? No, it was good though. Yeah, she was like, she was, she was cool. She was like, getting me more into it. You know what I'm saying? She was 
she was giving me more to it. So it wasn't, it wasn't nothing like that. I think I was just more in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah. Tell me about the other features on the album. Who did you have the most fun with? Whether it was, you know, a collaboration that happened in the studio or if it's just that happened back and forth over the phone or whatever. Like, who did you enjoy working with chemistry-wise on a song? Uh, Me and Wayne got great chemistry like me and Wayne like we like close uh we got like five six songs together uh lucky day my boy like lucky day like me and lucky day we we good homies uh who else uh me and french uh me and kelly roller like that's 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 sis right there like that's sis she uh we got great chemistry uh she actually playing the video to our song right now, so I don't know. Everybody that I work with, it just be like, just crazy vibes. Like it just be good energy. Like, you, know what I'm you had talked about Wayne being so influential. Mm -hmm. Was there anything that he said or did that just, I don't know, surprised you? about yeah. him because that's one thing when you've been inspired by somebody mm -hmm. right they always say don't meet your heroes don't yeah. meet your idols yeah. but obviously this was a a good situation yeah. was there anything that you learned about him that you know you were happy to understand more yeah or surprised about uh i say wayne the type he like like you'll want to meet him like he he's not a disappointment to meet like he like uh He's selfless, man. He's selfless. Mm. Like he really like genuinely will do anything to see you win. He don't care about like he believe what he believe. He don't care about like how big of a star you is. Or what you know what I'm saying? He don't care if he if he like mess with you, he like mess with you. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I like about Wayne. Like Wayne really like selfless, you know what I'm saying? So I can see why, you know what I'm saying, you know, like people like Drake and Nicki got to where they at, like mm. under, you know what I'm saying, Wayne, because he like, you know what I'm saying. He puts his all yeah, into he it. Put, There's... He put his all into you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's important. And to have that kind of support must be nice. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Did you ever imagine that was going to happen for you, right? Because mm -hmm. like for me, I'm assuming for you, yeah. we grew up listening to Wayne, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Did you think you were going to be on this kind of level of a friendship and also you know just colleagues in this industry <laughs> nah i ain't never i ain't never used to think like watching videos that i'll be right. like you know what I'm saying like like close with ashanti kelly Rowland, you know yeah. what i'm saying and all these people like and and actually like doing music with them like consistently yeah. i ain't really think that growing up you know what i'm saying i used to be like dang like i want to be there but I ain't never think that. So, uh, yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying. And I just look at them as my peers now. You know what I'm saying. Right. So it's crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You produced for Ashanti. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? Oh, that was that was crazy. That was crazy. Ashanti, my my big sis for real. My big sis. We we got a crazy uh, chemistry. Yeah. Um, and we just, you know, her her mom. Uh, I call mama mama, you know what I'm saying? That's, we got a crazy chemistry. Yeah. How did that happen? How did these connections work? Is it through <laughs> DMs? Are you running into people? Uh, no, I think I, I think I had, uh, I think uh, I had hit Ashanti one time in the DM. She responded, uh, was like, yeah, send me some stuff. We had ended up getting in the studio in, uh, in New York. Mm. And we just did a record. I think we, we did this record uh, called Possessive. Uh, I end up uh, I end up giving it to uh, Chris for his album, but we did a couple of records in there, and then uh, we just kept getting in. We got in to Vegas. She came to Vegas, stayed like two weeks, and we just worked. I produced some stuff. Like she was just working on her uh, her album, her new mm -hmm. album, and uh, just trying to get another single out. So we was just working and i was just on every day like you finna put this music out you finna put music out you're not finna sit on it you're not finna sit on it like you finna put it out you know what i'm saying she's always on vacation did you notice this yeah, like I, I literally be, I, yeah i'll be talking about her like that i'm like you always on the island no your know, ass finna get in the studio we finna drop this music i'm glad that you're able to you know do different 
parts mm -hmm. of the music industry, mm -hmm. writing, mm -hmm. being the actual artist, producing. Mm -hmm. What do you like the most when it comes to your talents? Uh, I, I mean, I, lo I love being an actual artist. I ain't gonna lie. I, like I, I never want anything else to outshine that. You know what I'm saying? I just do the other stuff because I can. And some stuff that I can't use, I feel like, you know, uh, it still needs to be put out. So I use other artists as other channels to put mm. out because I probably I might write a, write a you know what I'm saying a, a a girl song or like a pop song that I that I really can't hear me singing uh and then you know giving it to other artists kind of give me a channel to like for the world still to hear sure. it and not just you know just be like ah, I'm just gonna throw it away because I can't use it you right know? Yeah. you actually had tweeted about the first song on the album and how people aren't going to be able to even get past that yeah. because it's so good. Yeah. Don't forget me. Yeah. So what is this song about? And did this actually happen to you? Nah. Uh, nah, a lot of times I just be right. I just be right, bro. I just, <laughs> I've been through so much. I just be right. But don't forget me. Uh, it's basically, uh, what's the lyrics? The lyrics, uh, don't, uh, don't forget me, you pray God take my life, but that's who sent me. Uh, you running out of time, it's never the right time to say goodbye. It's, it's just basically about, you know what I'm saying, like when you're in a relationship, you know what I'm saying, and a, and a, and a woman get hurt so bad, you know how they say, say crazy stuff. You hope your ass. You know what I'm saying? Girls say stuff that they'll regret. Guys you know say stuff that they're going to yeah, yeah, regret. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, a lot, a lot. So women, you know, but I'm speaking from the guy's perspective, sure, though. Sure. So, uh, it's like saying something that you may regret, but like the guy saying like, you know, you praying for all this stuff, but, you know, I'm your blessing in disguise. You know what I'm saying? Even though we're going through bad things, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still your blessing in disguise. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. You be like that though. I, what? <laughs> you know what? Because it was so believable right uh, now, and I was like, "Come on!" <laughs> but nah, you know what? Up. I appreciate that you respond to people because I think someone had talked about how your music brings out the toxicity out of them. Do you uh, feel like uh, you make, you know, at times not every song, but yeah. sometimes nah, I, there's nah, toxicity? I nah, I feel like I feel like you know what I'm saying. I feel like it, it does, but you gotta hit a chord in people though. That's what make like good music. Like right. you gotta bring out something. If if you know if you're just rapping about you know just you know just the same things. And, you know what I'm saying? Money, cars. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like re redundant but when you saying things like you know deep lines. You know it just sticks around more you know what I'm saying they hit people like a little bit more different you know what I'm saying? when was the last time you got your heart broken i'm just curious now so when i listen to your <laughs> songs i'm like maybe this is what this is about when was the last nah, time that I happened say that, cause <laughs> she i already be thinking all my songs about my uh i only had like one girlfriend before uh my current relationship you know what i'm saying so like i mean to say i was heart broke yeah, but I was like young. I was like nineteen. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I really like, you know, I don't really feel like I really felt. I felt like I, back then, like I was living with her. You know what I'm saying and stuff like that. So I don't really feel like it was heartbreak. I really felt like it was like not knowing what to do. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Not knowing what to do next. And, Love is something else. And being right? just so attached to something that like you don't know what to do without it. Cause you know I ain't have nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it was like one of those situations, but. Uh, as far as heartburn, like I only been about next relationship was been eight years and ongoing. So no, I, I ain't never had my heart broke for real. I just see stuff that other people go through. You know Got it. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations on your mind still mm -hmm. triple platinum, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you taken a time to appreciate this, or are you on to the next? <laughs> I be taking time to appreciate it. Yeah, I, I always appreciate it. You know Good. what I'm saying? Uh, you know, every time I get another plaque, uh, uh, anything, you know what I'm saying, I just always appreciate it. And, uh, you know, just keep going. Like, the album just went gold. Like, that's that was crazy. That was a crazy, like, first accomplishment for me. Like, because I always had, like, singles and stuff go gold. But right. I never really had, like, a whole project, collective project. But this was my first, pro first album anyways, though. So, you know what I'm saying. And you're talking about Moon Boy. Yeah. That's got to feel really mm. good, though. Yeah. 
Yeah. Certified gold. Mm -hmm. So who makes the call to you? Like when you find this out, are you seeing it on Twitter? Do fans let you know? Because yeah. sometimes the artists are so focused on their work yeah. that they're not even seeing the numbers. They're not seeing all the accolades roll in. How did mm -hmm. you find out the uh, album? My, my label will just takes me like, you know what I'm saying? This or something like off oh, of your monster uh, Drake team or hit me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like Morgan over there, over yo. He like text me like, yo. Da, 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 and I should be like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I just always, uh, you know, just forever just gratitude, whatever he whatever he need from me. You know, they be having, like, different artists and stuff they working with and stuff. And I always, like, anything they send me, I always get them back, uh, get it back to them, mm -hmm. like, real quick. Because I know, like, you know what I'm saying, what Drake did for me mm. and the amount of time he did it, I was like, oh, I... You know, so I owe I owe them for like whatever they got going on. You know, so I'm always supporting. There's know, loyalty like, there. Yeah, nah, for sure. Yeah, you had mentioned that you and Kaylani performed "Beautiful Lies" for the first time together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys had a great conversation. Uh, I love Kaylani. Yeah, I'm nosy. What was that conversation about? <laughs> uh, what was that conversation about? Uh, Apparently, it was a good conversation. Yeah, uh, now nah, we were just talking about, you know what I'm saying, working on, more, working on more music, you know what I'm saying? She was just telling me stuff like she she feel like she, you know what I'm saying, she needed. And, you know what I'm saying, I was telling her stuff I feel like we needed and we just was both just putting our ideas together. And I was just telling her like, uh, you know, she the type of person she never satisfied, you know what I'm saying? She never satisfied uh, with where she is and i'm the same type of person so we were just talking about bigger and better things you know what i'm saying and that was like great to me i was like dang like because she's such a star and i'll be telling her that all the time but she never accepted i'll be like bro you such a she's star. she's very like, humble yeah i'll be like yeah. you're such a star like what else do you know what else do you want she's like Boo, uh, you know what i'm saying <laughs> and so i just we, we just be having those conversations like that yeah yep. uh, it's beautiful when you're able to connect with somebody on a deeper level right uh -huh. and actually know what somebody's going through mm -hmm. because there might be similarities that you're mm -hmm. experiencing mm -hmm. yeah. you had posted about somebody important in the industry told you that you're not a single artist your fans love you when you drop albums yeah and there's no reason you should only have one album out and they kept going on and on yeah who is this important person? <laughs> nah. You can't I ain't share? Say that. Okay, just tell me if I'm getting like closer to the answer or not. Is this person somebody we would all know? Uh yeah. Okay, it's not like a behind the scenes person. I mean it, it's sometimes. Kinda, yeah, they so yeah, they sometimes. But they like big and respected in the industry. Like big time, big time? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, wait, hold on, hold <laughs> no. on. Is it a guy or a girl? Uh it's a guy. Okay, it's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> were they also an artist or were they ever no. part of a group mm -mm. oh mm -mm. okay we'll stop there fair yeah. okay i'm gonna keep thinking so the next time when you come back because remember you say you're gonna come back and we're gonna go mm -hmm. get our signs read yeah. i'm gonna think of some <laughs> answers okay yeah. okay you know what i liked also that you had posted mm -hmm. that you value loyalty more than money. Yeah. Why is loyalty more I important than money? Posting. I ain't know y'all be watching my tweets like I that. I follow you. What are you talking about? <laughs> I be talking. I sometimes I just be talking crazy. <laughs> that. I be forgetting. Sometimes I be forgetting. Kind of. Yeah. But uh, why is loyalty more important than money? Let's have this discussion because I think this is important. <laughs> Too yeah. many times we see people do things that I don't know. It's just for money, mm -hmm. and you think it's like, oh, that's way out of character. But maybe yeah. that is their character. So, what is it about loyalty that's more important? Uh, it's because, like, you know, uh, money can be replaced. You know what I'm saying? It could be replaced, and you know, I feel like everybody just more for real love and loyalty. But a lot of us don't get it. So, a lot of people that you see just with like super bad hearts. And, and just bad like energy and you just feel like don't care about nobody they probably once yearn for like mm. love and, and and loyalty and stuff like that but they just end up like not getting it from other people and it just made them turn to like they don't care about you know what I'm saying interesting like, yeah like nothing like I always been the type to say like 
I don't know is it just because I just feel like I experienced so much, but I feel like most people, when people say loyalty is hard to find, it's usually this example I put. If you pro you probably put 20 people in this room today, and you could be like, uh, uh, would you trade your, would you trade your brother or would you trade sure. your best friend for a million dollars? You know what I'm saying? They're probably like, no. Right. $20 million. They're probably like, no. A hundred million dollars. Mm, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they answer like the higher you go, they right. answer will start to get like faded out. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like faded out. A billion dollars. Two billion. You know what I'm saying? They probably make a little joke. <laughs> I don't know. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That's real to most people. You feel me? A person like me, like, I don't care. Like, I don't care if you offer me a trillion dollars. Like, I wouldn't trade out certain things. You know what I'm saying? For no amount of monetary value. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And But some people really, like, most people really have a price. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just, it's really sad in this world that we live in today. A lot of people have prices. Like, you know what I'm saying? You get somebody the right price, people will turn on you. So, that's like... You know, friends and all. So it's like loyalty way more valuable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I value that. I do too. Yeah. Loyalty is important. Yeah, for sure. And not to sound so vain, but mm. let's talk about your jet. Because mm -hmm. I saw you signing <laughs> those papers. Now, uh -huh. you actually own the jet. Yeah. And you said this is a long term mm -hmm. investment yeah and the reason i want to talk about this because a lot of times when fans or just people are seeing moves like that yeah. it's important to kind of give them a little bit more insight uh -huh. so that they too can maybe okay this is something i too can work towards or mm -hmm. oh i didn't realize that's how it works mm -hmm. what did you mean by a long-term investment because you know when you think of like cars or stuff like that you lose mm -hmm. value instantly mm -hmm. why is a jet a long-term investment Ah, uh, cause the a aviation is only like about, you know, it's it's millions and millions of cars. You know what I'm saying? And, and planes is not that many. It's not that many private jets. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. probably not even a hundred thousand. It's not even a hundred thousand private jets. Uh, so, you know, for me, when I say long term investment, that mean like the way I travel, you know, and the way I want to travel. It was a good investment for me because I don't even make money off the plane. It's just, you know, you pay for you pay for comfort. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So um, <laughs> I don't know. It was just like a personal choice for me. Cause like I said, I haven't even signed no publishing deal. I haven't, you know, a lot of those big things that I know that's going to be huge because the amount of music and hits right. I put out. I haven't done that yet, but like I purchased all the things that I know that people purchase like when they get up you know what i'm saying i already got those things so it'll just be out the way so i could just save my money you know what i'm saying man yeah well but, uh, the, do the you plan, rent it out no nah, I, don't, I don't rent it out because when you rent it out that's when you have to spend more money you know what really I'm saying? Yeah, oh because of maintenance i'm assuming yeah and when you put it on charter you have to do like way more things like a way laundry list of things just for like you still have to do a laundry list of things, like, just to have it private, but you have to do, like, ten times that just because oh. it's on charter. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't know. If you read about it, you probably think you can't afford it. You know what I'm saying? Because... It's a big purchase, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a big purchase. But, like I said, you got to know your finances. You got to know. Mm. Like, I feel like a lot of people don't do it just because it's, like, it's a lot of hands-on stuff. A lot of artists don't like being hands-on and, like, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like... Can't nobody else do it for you. You know, you got, I got a manager of my plane and stuff like that, but it's a lot of things like with planes, you have to learn for yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people just don't have time. Or they, a lot of people that I talk to in the industry, when they asked me about my plane, they was like, they never researched it because they automatically think that it's, they automatically think it's unattainable. Mm. Like they don't even like research it. They just be like, they should be like, private jet? Oh, no, that's probably think it costs. Right. 40 million, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or something like that. Well, because yeah. <laughs> I looked it up, and that's how much they cost, <laughs> depending that's on the kind of plane, yeah, right? Yeah, but that's like, so with, pla with planes, like, let's see, like, it's just like a car, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you say you have a, uh, 
a Escalade, you know what I'm saying? Brand new 2023 Escalade, you know what I'm saying? But you have, it's so many, it's only so many models you could make a plane, you know what I'm saying? It's right. only so many ways you can make a plane. So a 1990 plane look exactly like oh. a 2022 plane, but the 1990 plane costed. 50 million when it first was, you know what I'm saying, when it first came out. So the majority of the planes y'all see, like rappers on, even when they fly private jets, if you look at the tag number, all you got to do is type in the tail number and it'll just bring up the plane. They are not brand new planes. Even if they look brand new, they just, you know, get refurbished and stuff like that. But it's like they're brand new because you have to right. do an overhaul on your engine, which is brand new engines. You have to always replace stuff every couple of years. So it's like, you basically just got the shell of a plane with new stuff in it. So it's like, it's basically like a new plane is just, you know, mm -hmm. if you want the the new, the brand new model, which is look exactly like the older model. Right. You know, you paying like, extra just because zeros. it's brand new. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a lot of extra zeros. So, you know. It's research. Yeah, it's, it's just research, man. What? It's research. It's a lot of research. But I mean, regardless, they, the type of plane I got, they still cost multiple millions. You know right, I was going to say, let's not downplay <laughs> this moment yeah. here. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. You don't want to get no plane that don't cost no millions, for real, though. You, <laughs> you got to be careful. That's why yeah. you got to do your research. You yeah. got to you gotta do your research. Yeah. I saw for your birthday that you were counting up a whole lot of cash. I think it was a yeah. million dollars. Was that? Yes. <laughs> But that's okay because listen, have you ever counted it out like you know just singles? Because it was more stacks that was laid nah, out. No, I never did that because I just feel like that that doesn't make it seem like I just <laughs> it's too much time on my hands. It's hand. too Not much time. No. A million dollars in singles. Well, how long do you think it would take you to to count that? Maybe we should do I that for know. the I next time. I just put it in hundred stacks. I just I think I think why did why did I do that? It was your birthday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I really don't do stuff like that a lot, though. It was your birthday. I have, like, I have like, a little flexing moment every every time. Yeah. Every now and then, just, like. It's every now and then, right. some fun type shit, but I don't really, like, you know what I'm saying, just pulling out a million dollars. Like, I did that for a reason. I think I had to pay my contractor, and they was holding my checks for, like, a long time, and he had to go get the stuff, like, for us to, like, beat a deadline. And I think I just went and, um went and got the cash that day i'm not I mean, mad i had to wait like two weeks to get the cash but yeah. i'm not mad at the reasoning of why it happened yeah. but i was like okay <laughs> but i'm so curious how long it would take to count it up individually let's say Probably like an hour would you restart if you messed up counting right if someone walks in and they're talking about oh i saw this game and they're throwing out numbers i mean you got a money counter though so they probably won't take you over money counts. yeah Monica. We have so much to do the next time I see you. We got to count up a million. We got to go get our signs read. Uh, so tell me about Moon University. How's everything going with Moon Boy University? Uh, it's almost almost done. It'll be done in um, February. It'll be done in February. So I'm just adding like adding a few things. Made some few adjustments and stuff, but it'll be done in February. The last time we spoke, you talked about the compound coming together and, you know, this being a place where artists, creatives can come and work out mm -hmm. of. Has anyone already booked any time or anybody been like, all right, I definitely want to no, use. No, because I haven't put it up. I haven't put it up like uh, people hit me up about it all the time, but I haven't put it up for like just to, to people to stay there for. Uh, yet and like really book it because I'm still living on the property. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So I'm building my um. I'm gonna get ready to build me up my own private estate, and then I'm gonna start booking it out. You know what I'm saying? So it'll probably be like a, a year and a half. So I'm I'm just gonna enjoy it with my team first for yeah. a little bit, and then I'm gonna open it up. I still probably have like students and stuff come through, like people who want to learn how to do certain things, like on and off, on some like private sessions type of things, but far as like full scale opening, uh, like it's gonna be my whole business facility. Uh, That's great. And I'm gonna book it out to labels, but that'll be when I totally move. That's yeah. great. Uh, okay, we have to talk about parenthood. Mm -hmm. Cause Blue, I'm a mom now. Yeah. The last time I saw you, I was pregnant. 
For real? I was. Uh, I knew something was a little different about you. <laughs> my face, my no, everything, my everything. I ain't, wanna... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. ain't want to ask if you was pregnant. Though. Yeah, was like... <laughs> good, good. Yes, those are one of the rules of yeah. uh, you know in life. Never yeah. ask. But I am a new mom now. Mm -hmm. I'm so sleep deprived. Yeah. Woo! Mm -hmm. You have three kids, right? Yeah. Okay, give me your I best. Got four kids. Four kids. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. When do you sleep? How do you sleep? Help me out. I have so many questions right now. Like the fact that you have four kids, one is like, I'm not kidding you. I feel like I can't keep up ever. Yeah. So give me your best parenting advice. Um, I mean, two of my kids are older, so they, they be out the way. They just, okay. So yeah. that's something I should look forward to. Yeah. Yeah. Growing. Yeah. Them growing up, but, okay. uh, I don't know. I mean, with kids, you gonna be, you know, that's just part of, that's just part of it. You gonna be, you know, annoyed. They gonna get on your nerves. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You just, uh, I don't know. I mean, nannies, nannies help. You nannies so you help. You gotta have a nanny to give you, give, you know, don't feel bad for getting a nanny. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta give yourself a, a break, especially with, you know, we're working and, right. you know, and uh, you want to be in the best mood. You want to have help. That's what I be trying to tell my girl. Like, man, you gotta get, you gotta get help. She want to do everything herself. But now she just texts me today, like, can you find us a nanny? Ask one of your rapper friends. And you're like, nah, bro. nah, now you want a nanny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you gotta get, you just gotta get help. I had like my mom help out. Like, yeah. You know, uh, my dad don't help out, but my mom, my mom help. Your out. mom my is. My dad help out every now and then, but he. Um. Yeah, you got to get family involved. I feel like I shouldn't be this tired. Yeah. I mean, but I'm tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, do you remember those first couple weeks? Like, we're talking about, like, with mm -hmm. your first child. Yeah. It's a different kind of yeah. shock. I don't know. I've never drank this much caffeine in my life. Yeah. Like, I, I look forward to coffee in the morning. My boy was like, he was used to cry through the night, but my girl, like, she don't, like, she don't cry. Like, she's not a, like a big crier. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's not a big crier. I gotta show you. You yeah, probably no. saw it. Have you saw you saw me post that before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's okay. Beautiful. So, what's the hardest part about parenthood? Because um, I'm taking all this advice in. The hardest part about parenthood. Uh, I don't know, man. I think is everything. it balance, work life balance? I <laughs> yeah, feel like that would probably balance. be the hardest for me. Work life balance, definitely. You just got to learn how to balance it. Like me, I be traveling and stuff like that. So uh, when I come home, you know, I be kind of be on a rest. <laughs> but it be like a lot of times, like my kid, like especially my son, like he just be crying through the night for nothing. I be having to get out the bed, go sleep in my son's room. In a, on a little half size bed just to get some good sleep. You know, it'd be all type of stuff. In the middle of the night, he come in there, mm -hmm. you know, you can't do all the things you want to do. It's a lot of it's a lot of stuff with them kids though. That's why you gotta get <laughs> I I damn near wanna move a full time nanny in my facility when I build when I build it. I wanna move a feel like a full time nanny. Like they're just like on some Kardashian type type type. <laughs> Like, just be beneath. there help me <laughs> yeah help me get through this time. just be there all the time like <laughs> yeah it's a lot of work yeah yeah it's a, it's a different life yeah. did you become a more of a caffeine drinker or did you notice you're like wow i'm taking more naps in the day i do know that i take more naps though man i just be there just got up in the morning yeah <laughs> and probably be back sleep at about 12 o'clock <laughs> right you know what I'm and take another nap like during the evening yeah yeah so. did you feel more like appreciation for your parents after having your kids were you like yeah. damn no. this is so hard yeah no I, I really i really did yeah I, I, you get to understand like a lot more of what your parents were saying too uh you that's know right saying? for real but my mom like my mom like she really like kicking in with her grandchildren like even Aww. more than she kicked in with us goddamn she kicking <laughs> in with her grandchildren um way more because I mean, well, she got she got time now. She used to have to work with, with us, but she don't be working no more. Oh, yeah, so. I love this, and mm -hmm. I can't wait to see you again. I'm so excited for your album. I know how hard you work, and mm -hmm. I know what this means for you. So I'm sure this will get another plaque. Mm -hmm. That won't be surprising at all. But yeah. I hope 
blue that you take the time to enjoy all the success because mm -hmm. you deserve it you've worked hard for it and the next time you come back to town we got to celebrate and go get yeah. our signs <laughs> read yeah don't yeah, back really, out though nah, i ain't gonna lie though i am be, I, i'm kind of scared of that shit, but i like i ain't scared of the, I, the signs the signs yeah really, it's yeah. gonna be the signs okay, we're the gonna signs, get yeah. our birthdays like you know they'll see where our signs were like where our sun and our moon yeah. were and see if that correlates with our personalities yeah we'll see yeah don't bail on me you look like you're hesitating yeah, don't hesitate to think. <laughs> we're not gonna do anything crazy <laughs> well thank you so much no, and so. congratulations oh, good. Oh, good. of course